into all three of those categories and you're going to get far more results for your effort. Hey guys, Mark McKillie with Live Anabolic and today I got a great video. I'm going to be talking about how to lose those love handles and specifically this is targeted to all you guys out there that are over 50 like me. And so I got three primary categories everybody needs to know about. So you need to stick around and listen to what I have to say. All right, so there's tons of different things we can do to lose weight, specifically those love handles. But really, I can break them into three big giant categories. And those are exercise, nutrition, and hormones or ho hormone health, okay? So I'm just gonna briefly touch on those three big topics, okay? I'm not going to really dive into to detail on any one of the three, but the whole point of this video is that there's, that there's several things you really need to keep in mind when you're trying to lose those love handles, and if you kind of ignore one of these three, it's going to make it much, much harder to lose that fat. So the first thing let's just start off with is what is the most important of those three, if you had to guess? If you said nutrition, you'd be right. And let me talk about why nutrition is, is really important or the most important before we move on to the other two categories. First of all, it is so easy to consume a ton of calories real, real fast that you will get behind the eight ball. Remember, we have to eat fewer calories than we burn every day, otherwise we're never going to lose any weight. So as an example, how long would it take you to drink a milkshake? What, four or five minutes? All right, guess what? That's five to 600 calories that you're consuming in only four or five minutes. Now, do you know how long it would take to burn off those calories? All right, that would take about an hour and a half of vigorous exercise, nonstop. All right, so see the imbalance there, guys? Four or five minutes of eating the wrong kind of food is it gonna take you an hour and a half, maybe two hours of exercise to burn off those extra unnecessary calories. So nutrition is really important for that reason. And then the other reason is, if we're eating the wrong foods, guys, it really can affect your hormone health, okay? That's, that, that's one of the three categories. So all you guys out there who make a change in your diet for the better, okay, and really start eating healthy. So not only are you gonna start losing fat, but you're gonna feel a lot better. You're gonna have a lot more energy, okay? Um, and a lot of that is because when you switch from eating really crappy food to eating really good healthy food, you do affect your hormone health. Your body can make that testosterone and growth hormone and all those other feel good <laughs> hormones that, you know, just naturally occurred when we were younger. So guys, nutrition is the most important and it does affect the third category, which is your hormone health. All right, so now what is the second most important of the three categories? That would be exercise. All right, so not only is it the second most important, but it's, it's the second easiest, I would say the nutrition is the toughest and the third category is going to be the easiest. Now, exercise, guys, is really not that tough. And the reason I say that is because, you know, you got one workout to do a day. And typically that workout is going to be 30, 45 minutes, an hour at the max. All right, you can focus and give the effort required to get in a good workout for that short amount of time, all right? And then you're done with it. For the rest of the day, you can do whatever the hell else you need to be doing. Uh, nutrition is the toughest of the three, and it's the most important because you gotta worry about your nutrition every single waking moment, all right? So you have to focus on what you're putting in your mouth or not putting in your mouth all day long. And guys, you know, those, those hunger cravings, you know, really start to kick in. So exercise is the second most impor important. It's not all that hard, believe it or not. Once you get started and your body adjusts, I promise that soreness goes away real quick and, it's in, and your body adjusts. But exercise, just like nutrition, also has a huge impact on, on your hormone health. Matter of fact, I would say a much bigger impact on our hormones. And that's because 
when we're doing resistance training, when you're really hitting it hard, guys, you do send signals to your brain for your body to ramp up production of testosterone. And of course, testosterone, I've got tons of other videos where I talk about it, but testosterone is really important because the more of it you make, the easier it is to build muscle and the more of it you have in your body, the better your body is at using its fat stores as a natural source of energy for when you're exercising. So more testosterone in your body means you're actually gonna burn fat off much more efficiently before your body goes to the carbohydrates in your system. And also, when you're pushing yourself hard and you start building up the lactic acid in your muscles from really working them hard, that lactic acid also sends signals to your brain to produce more testosterone. So exercise is real important. Um, for losing the love handles and of course it's also builds muscle so eating right the nutrition part the first category doesn't build muscle all right it, it can help with your hormone health it can help you lose body fat but you don't build any muscle just by eating correctly the exercise is where you get the really good physique from all right the muscle but if you got a bunch of fat on your body doesn't matter how much muscle you have underneath there you can't see it you just look like a big soft doughboy all right so exercise number two it's the second easiest to do the third most important thing is actually the easiest and we're going to get to it right now okay the final th and the third category that we need to focus on when it comes to losing these love handles hormone health all right so the first two categories affect your hormone health in a positive or negative way so if we're doing everything right with our nutrition and our exercise we'll actually produce more testosterone our hormones will be working in our favor um, but if you neglect those first two categories you're really going to be killing your hormones all right and as we get older guys our bodies just naturally don't produce nearly as much as these great hormones that we all enjoyed when we were teenagers and in our 20s and then you kind of probably started to feel those hormones start to decline in our 30s and that's just natural our bodies produce less and less testosterone every year as we get old okay so we can cheat that natural tendency by eating correctly and really exercising and focusing one more way on our home hormones and this is the easiest thing of the three and that is supplements so there are supplements out there guys that have all the ingredients the vitamins the minerals the micronutrients all the other little things in there that your body needs to produce as much testosterone as it naturally can and it's really hard to get all that stuff in your normal diet even if you're eating healthy so i recommend at least giving supplements a try we have a really good one that i really like uh, and we've got tons of fantastic feedback uh, online and it's called anabolic reload uh, you can go to our website real quick and click on it and it has a list of all the ingredients and what each ingredient actually does for your body and why it's important for your your testosterone health i don't really want to get into the details here but guys this is by far the easiest of the three categories. How long does it take to pop a couple of pills in your mouth and swallow it with a glass of water, all right? So just a few seconds a day, and you could, you know, check that category off of your things to do, right? Then you can just focus on your nutrition and your exercise. And supplements don't work great for everybody. I know that, I know that for a fact. Some guys see very little benefit from it, but you don't know until you try, all right? And then secondly, we got easily the best warranty or guarantee in the entire industry. So if, it's, if it doesn't work for you, just let us know. All right, send us an email. You don't even have to mail the, the bottle back. We'll, we'll refund your money. So basically there is, there, you get a no risk proposition here. And it's just too easy not to try. And, and a lot of guys, because of they're not exercising enough, they're not pushing it hard enough when they do exercise. And even though they think they're eating well, they're probably not is not eating as well as they think and then those guys typically respond really well to supplements when it comes to your hormone health just because it helps your body get all the kind of goodies that it needs that you're not getting on a daily basis okay guys so we got three big major categories they're all very different from each other all right and i want you guys to realize you can't just focus on one okay it's just not going to work so really 
you need to pay attention to all three of those categories and you're going to get far more results for your effort. And when I say effort, I'm not just talking about, you know, exercise effort. Eating correctly is a lot of effort, okay? <laughs> so going to the grocery store, buying the correct stuff, and it takes effort not to go in that refrigerator late at night when you have the munchies, all right? Um, the, the supplements takes no effort, all right? So category three is a no-brainer. But guys, really, when you combine all three of these things together, they magnify each other's results. So the total is greater than the sum of the parts is what I'm trying to get to. And even if you really focus and do really well at all three at the same time, it still isn't going to get rid of those love handles overnight, right? It didn't, you didn't get those love handles overnight. It's going to take you a little while, but guess what? If you just stick with it and never give up on yourself, I promise those love handles will be gone.